So guys, we just finished the Diablo 4 dev stream for season one. And let me say at first it was a catastrophe by dropping a bomb on us about Diablo Immortal, which nobody cares about. But when they once, uh, you know, what was it? 55 minutes went by of them talking about that. We finally got into Diablo 4 and all the content. So I wanted to go over everything. I made a whole list notes, but they got the patch notes out already. So let's go over everything that you guys need to know. If you didn't, uh, we're able to catch it out. Catch it out? Check it out. Corruption has fallen. It is the season of the Maligant. Okay? This is the brand new season. It's going to start July 20th at 10 a.m. Uh, however, July 18th, a patch will be put in where you can download it. You're going to have to download it and it'll have everything for the Diablo 20 or July 20th patch for the new season that will be updated. So let's go over everything that you guys are going to need to know. So the uh, Maligant theme. So what the theme is, is it's a, there's Maligant monsters that are going to spawn. And when you kill them, it's only elite monsters. So only elite monsters have the chance to become Maligant monsters. They're basically stronger versions of the current monsters because they've been corrupted. Once you kill the monster, you're going to be able to see they're going to drop uh, Maligant hearts that fuel the, foul, uh, the the beast and you can convert them into build altering powers. OK, so once you defeat a monster, it's going to drop the heart. You can transmute it into vengeance and then you'll fight even stronger versions of them. So to do this, you're going to capture and perform a, witch a ritual with the cage of binding. OK, it's an item that you acquire during the season quest line. And what it'll do is make a enemy that who is partly corrupted be fully corrupted and then you'll fight them once you drop or kill them they will drop versions of the maligant hearts which can be placed into specially infested sockets into your jewelry which jewelry which will be your amulets and your two rings okay this will take the slot of your normal gem so your skull you know whatever you want ruby whatever you want to put in there this is the first season. There's going to be 32 different variants across four categories. So there's four different versions and they will all have four different colors and they all come from four different types of monsters, right? One of the best places to acquire Maligant hearts is Maligant tunnels. So these are places throughout um, Sanctuary that you can be able to go find them and they have highly replayable dungeons. You're going to be able to kind of target farm certain ones um, <clears throat> and this will be have a higher chance for these hearts to spawn and to fight these um, maligant infested monsters or elite monsters to drop the hearts. Now there's also a maligant boss, which is Varshan, the consumed. It's the newest boss battle if you dare. So there's a brand new boss that you're going to be able to fight. <clears throat> How seasonal characters work. For those who do not know, okay, you'll have the option to skip the campaign. You have to start a brand new character in the seasonal realm, not the eternal realm. You can skip the campaign. Your mount will be immediately available. All previous discovered altars of Lilith and corresponding renown for all of them. Same thing with the areas of the map. So you're going to get a lot of renown just for making it in here. So I highly encourage you. Go complete all of your renown. Discover the entire map and unlock all of your altars. Get that done. Once the season ends, the character you made and his progress will be transferred to the Eternal Realm. Items you collect, including your seasonal stash, will be transferred too. You can take this character into Sanctuary whenever you please, but season-specific features like Maligant Hearts will no longer be accessible. So you're going to be able to keep all this stuff. So, hey, four stash tabs, you got enough space. I don't want to hear it. Uh, that's belief behind seasons. We don't care about that. <clears throat> Earn rewards with the seasonal journey and battle pass. This is actually really, really cool. So you're going to be able to um, go through the seasonal journey. This is back, which is really neat. However, there's going to be seven different chapters as you guys can see here at the top. And you don't actually have to complete every single objective to advance to the next one. You're going to have to complete a certain amount, as you see here. As long as you can complete up to this bar, it'll allow you to go to the next uh, tab or the next level. So <clears throat> what this allows you to do is to do certain things that you may not want to do. Like, for example, if you didn't want to complete a world event found on your map, you don't have to. You can complete different kinds of content in the ways you want. Or if you didn't want to complete a dungeon, which is silly, but if you didn't want to do that, you wouldn't have to, and you can still advance. It's actually really, really cool. Uh, next is our uh, the the battle pass. This seems confusing to a lot of people, <clears throat> uh, like initially, but you're still going to have your battle pass, which the free battle pass is if you don't 
purchase it and then you have the additions if you do purchase it and you'll be able to have access to everything um, which is actually really really cool so uh, and this will be added as you complete your seasonal journey you'll be able to go up tiers which is really cool just by completing stuff into in the world whether it's dungeons killing monsters etc uh, next you'll have there's 63 premium tiers 27 free tiers 90 uh, in total which is kind of cool um, now acquiring hellish new looks from the shop um, if you guys are into the cosmetics, you can go buy new shops or new stuff, cosmetics from the shop when the season comes out. That's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Now, when I go over and look at my notes, a few other things that I want to add guys is that today there is a patch today. There's a patch today that's going to come out, which has some small bug fixes, but more importantly, there is going to be a patch about how hell tides are going to be, um, able to drop unique items when you open up a helltide chest you're going to be able to um oops you're gonna you're gonna be able to have the chance you gotta say the chance you're gonna be able to have the chance to get unique items and if you're someone like me who has a level 100 sorcerer and still has not found the gosh darn remnants chest piece now i'm gonna find it and i'm gonna find it tonight let me tell you uh, so yeah, that's huge today. Then you got the Ma uh, the Maligant season, which is awesome. You got the mechanics, the powers. <clears throat> um, there's three different, you know, all the different colors. The July update, seasonal journey is here. Seven chapters. We went over that. Uh, there's one more thing in the seasonal blessings that you guys will have for the season. So it's kind of hard to see um, here on the journey, but you will be able to have access to smoldering ashes, which give you seasonal blessings you're going to unlock seasonal blessings from um completing your chapters so when you're coming through and you're completing chapters here or on your uh battle pass you'll unlock smoldering ashes which you can use for your seasonal blessings as you guys see here there's some really good ones like adding you know increased gold increased monster exp when you kill them there's going to be some that give you increased chance to find the uh, maligant monsters which is really really important there's one right here with the the fist where you can get higher level salvaging rewards when you salvage then there's some where you can get an increased gold amount when you sell to the vendors which is really really cool so also one other thing that's huge to note here guys is that in the season because this is a huge question is that there will be scrolls of amnesia scrolls of amnesia reset all of your skills and your paragon so this resets everything in your board as well as your skills and it costs you nothing no goal to do this but you have to get a scroll of amnesia which is only accessible in seasons okay so this is very very important uh, one thing I do want to mention about the uh, renown transferring over, which may not have been disclosed. When you are looking at your seasonal renown, how this is going to work is you are going to have access to your renown. So, for example, areas discovered in Altars of Lilith, these points will be added over. So, if you have, let's say I have 28 altars here in Fractured Peaks. That's 10 a piece, that's 280 points. Those 280 renown points are gonna carry over into your seasonal character, which is amazing. On a fresh level one character in season one, if you have completed all of your altars of Lilith, you have discovered every single area in Sanctuary, you will have five extra skill points, five extra potions uh, of your potion capacity, and you'll have all the bonus stats from your Altars of Lilith, which makes your character insanely strong at the start. So please go do that. Go complete your Altars. Go complete your Redown. Get it all done. Okay? Excuse me. Um, outside of that, that is the last bit of the season. It's an absolute banger. It's really, really cool. I think the um, season of the Maligant is really interesting. Uh, and a lot of these powers that you're going to be able to get from the 32 different hearts are going to be really, really strong to like just take your builds over the top. So, um, and there's since there's different levels of these, you're going to be able to salvage them and you're going to be able to make new hearts and all these things, which is really, really cool. So, uh, yeah, guys, that is the new season one update, the season of the corruption, season of the maligant monsters. 
um, or Maligans into Vengeance, whatever it is. There's an announcement trailer there if you guys want to check that out. Um, but yeah, that's the season, guys. Like the video, comment down below what do you guys think. Make sure to sub if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.